Hollywood Hill Park, 196 acres, opened to the public on May 8, 1926. 80% of Inwood Hill is made of non-landscaped forest. Besides from a few trails, a huge span of primordial space remains relatively untouched since the colonial days. During the Revolutionary War, the trees were cut for lumber and firewood, but once the war was over, it was allowed to regrow, and today it is home to trees that no longer exist anywhere in Manhattan. The Majestic Native American Caves important archaeological site. Ideally close to the water for fishing, the Lenape tribes used these caves as seasonal living quarters, until the attack of the Mohawk forced them to flee and leave everything behind. In honor of the Lenape tribe, which means of the people, a central portion of the park was renamed Shoraka Park Preserve, which means place between the ridges. Since 2002, come rain or come shine, Native Americans return here for an annual celebration called Drums Along the Hudson. Inwood Hill Park, the hidden forest of Manhattan. The caves, oh my God, that's a perfect real estate. Location, location, location. In here, there was a tulip tree. Under that tree, Peter Minuet purchased Manhattan for $24 worth of goods. Not a great deal for the Native Americans, I must say. Three trails to walk, the white one being the shortest, the orange and the blue one being the longest. If you get lost and you don't know where you're at, you can see a touch of paint on trees here and there that tells you white track. Orange, blue, we're in the middle of the forest. Well, I guess that's why the District 12 of Manhattan is called Inwood. In the 1800, Inwood Hill Park was home for a lot of wealthy families. The Strauss, owner of Macy's and famous for dying on the Titanic, were one. The Lords of the Lord and Taylor had mansions that unfortunately burned down to the ground. One relatively known engineer named Alexander Chenoweth, responsible for the base of the Statue of Liberty, was also an amateur archaeologist. He is the one who was curious enough to find out the Indian caves and decided to start digging and realized that the park was nothing but an active archaeological site. Initially, Chenoweth was criticized for disturbing burials. Only later, history gave him the credit to have found an archaeological site in Manhattan. Look, Gina, we are right on the edge with the Harry Hudson Parkway, known as the Wesa Highway. Shagatong! You should recognize the cloisters. We've been there. If you want to barbecue with your family, then you need to come to the peninsula side of Inwood Hill Park. You are in need to pretend to be at the beach, come to Inwood Hill Park. Look, you can even hear the waves crashing against the shore. You might not want to go into the water. Though. Right, Jinitsa? You have any tiny family there, right, Gina? Five, six, seven, eight. This video could have been sponsored by Inwood Hill Park, but was not. No money was made during the making of this video. One more reason for you to subscribe to Shakaton. Come on, don't let me go without you saying it with me one. Shakaton, Shakaton.